G'day guys, Socket here. Today we're going to continue on with our car audio amplifier series and in today's episode we're going to take a look at transformers. So these are these donut shaped um, multi-wiring um, type devices that you find in amplifiers. Uh, they come in uh, different sizes uh, but they all have this similar donut shape. Um, so we're going to go and take a look at why they're donut shaped and how these transformers work. So we use transformers to step up or step down voltage. In car audio amplifiers, um, they're used to step up the 12 volt DC uh, power supply from your car battery or alternator to 30 volts, 40 volts, 60 volts, whatever your amplifier's maximum rail voltage is. Um, they're made up of two coils of wire wrapped around a donut shaped ferrous core, um, but they come in all shapes and sizes. But in car audio, we use this donut shaped transformer called a toroidal transformer um, because they are compact, efficient and produce very little electromagnetic interference. So a toroidal transformer is two coils of wire wrapped around a ferrite or steel donut shaped core. Um, the two wires are called the primary and secondary coils. Now in this illustration the primary coil is in blue and the secondary coil is in red. But of course these are just colours for illustrative purposes, you know, on your actual transformer, you know, the primary coil might be copper and the secondary might be red or blue or something. Um, yeah, but you get the general idea. Um, each coil has two ends, one is always positive and, you know, sorry, one is always positive and one is always negative. And, um, on the secondary coil, the polarities, of course, are reversed. But when the alternating current switches back and forth, when the transformer is operating, these polarities are flipped. So they're constantly flipping sort of from one uh, configuration to the other, just like is shown in this illustration. Um, the transformer also has a ground uh, wire called a ground tap. Now, the ground tap connects the two coils together, the primary and the secondary coil, and the ground tap is also connected to your uh, car chassis via the um, negative power cable from, you know, from your battery. Um, so when um, electric current is passed through the primary coil, right, so it's pushed and pulled in and out like this, um, what it does is it creates a magnetic field in the uh, in the primary coil and it follows the windings that are sort of wrapped around this you know the donut shaped core um, but what happens is this magnetic field that's now sort of like a donut shape and is encircling the core um, and um, encircling the secondary winding um, it, crea it creates a higher voltage in the secondary winding through a process called ele electromagnetic induction right so um, this higher voltage, which is now created in the secondary coil, um, is now available to feed the power rails, right? So um, that is the way that a transformer is able to uh, uh, do what we call step up um, the voltage supply from 12 volts to let's say 20 volts or 30 volts or whatever it is that you need um, through this process of electromagnetic magnetic conduction. So you pass your, um, your current through the primary core which creates the magnetic field which then creates uh, electromagnetic induction which creates a higher voltage in the secondary windings um, or through the secondary windings or the secondary coil and then that high voltage um, uh, alternating current can be sent off to you know wherever it's going, going to be sent to right um, but we can control the amount of um, step up or step down in the voltage by um, changing the number of windings that uh, are in the secondary coil. So if this secondary coil has less windings than the primary coil, then the voltage will step down. So it'll go from 12 volts to 8 volts or something like that. And if the secondary winding has more, secondary coil has more windings than the primary coil, then the voltage will step up. So you know it will go from 12 volts to 20 volts, for example, right? So, you know, it's really neat that we can actually control the amount of voltage step up or step down by um, having a specific number of windings on the secondary coil. Okay, so now that we know how a transformer turns our 12 volt power supply into 60 volts or whatever, so what next? 
Well, the high voltage alternating current from the transformer is sent to a device called a rectifier. And we're going to look at rectifiers in the next tutorial. Um, but uh, the purpose of a rectifier is to turn the high voltage alternating current back into a high voltage direct current. Um, but why do we go from 12 volts DC to say 60 volts alternating current and then back to 60 volts direct current again? Well, that's because direct current cannot be stepped up. To step up voltage, we need it in alternating current. So we have to convert the power supply from DC to AC so that we can step up the voltage. And then we need to convert it back again to DC because the amplifier, electronics and voltage rails need a DC supply to work. So how do we create the alternating current that we need to step up the voltage? Well, that's the job of the MOSFETs that we talked about in the transistor tutorial. These are the power transistors that supply the electric current to the primary coil and these MOSFETs switch on and off you know, super fast, you know, like 25,000 times a second, which causes the uh, electrical current to be pushed and pulled through the um, primary coil. Um, this creates the magnetic field and as we spoke about creates the high voltage current in the secondary coil. So the transformer cannot work without the MOSFET transistors and without the transformer the MOSFET transistors are just high speed switches. So it's when these two devices are used together that we generate an alternating current in the transformer, we can increase the voltage of the power supply which is exactly what transformers are designed to do. Finally, why do we use a donut shaped transformer and not a square traditional transformer in car audio amps? Well, that's all to do with the shape of the magnetic field. In the donut shape, the magnetic field is a sphere rather than a cube that you would get if you were using a square or a rectangular shape kind of boxy transformer. And therefore the donut or sphere produces a far less uh, electromagnetic interference that otherwise would show up as buzzing or hums and other things in our audio signal. So who knew? So there you go guys. That brings us to the end of today's tutorial on uh, transformers. In the next episode we're going to look at rectifiers and how they work. So I hope you enjoyed today's uh, uh, tutorial. If you've got any questions, as always, pop them down below. But otherwise, I will catch you in the next episode.